I've seen some discussion about posts like these, where you put in your tropes and themes or anything else really that you think would hook your reader and make them want to buy. This works particularly well for sort of tropey genres like romance and crime and possibly fantasy as well. So I thought I'd walk through how you could make one of these. So you start off with a blank Twitter template and then you go to uploads and you get a pack shot of your book. I have a separate video which is one of my paid for ones on how to turn your book cover image into a pack shot. Right, so you have your pack shot of your book. You can also just use your book cover, your plain book cover and um, put a shadow underneath it to make it pop a little bit. Okay, so there's this. Now then you need a background. You can either put a background in by looking at elements and looking at, oh, in fact, looking at backgrounds. And you've got all kinds of things. Um, but what I'm gonna do for this is just a plain black background. So you click on the background, you click on this color palette thing. And a good tip is you go to your photo colors and you pick one of your photo colors, right? As you can see, that kind of blends in to the image in the cover itself. So what you do is you go in and then you click on this kind of multicolored icon and you drag this all the way to the side to make it just paler. And when you find one that you like, that one I quite like, see how far away am I from that? Yeah, pretty close. Okay. Um, it just blends better. Okay. Now then, once you've worked out your themes and things, so I'm going to copy and paste them from mine because otherwise you'll have to watch me typing them. The font that I've used, now to copy and paste, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the thing, the bit of writing, you can press duplicate, which will copy it. And then you can drag it down and put it in the right place, wherever you want it to be. Or you can select it and go control C on your keyboard and then go to where you want it and control V. Right. I can't reach that because that's behind. Let's bring that forward. Okay. These fonts, this font is called Give You Glory. But if you go uh, into Canva and write handwritten, I could spell handwritten. You get a whole load of suggestions and you can play with them till you find one that you like for handwritten fonts or if you're writing something more, more serious. Um, you can choose sort of modern fonts and that'll come up with a whole load of modern fonts. I'm going to go with this because I quite like it. It's a, a little bit thin, but it gives the right sort of vibe. Okay, so you just scatter these somewhere around your picture. And then what you do is you put in arrows. So to find arrows, you go to elements and then type in arrows, search. And you've got all of these different things. If you go to graphics, that makes it slightly easier to see what you've got. And so you can have curved arrows, straight arrows. I would just select a few different ones and then we can play with them. Ooh, that's a nice one. I hadn't seen that one before. And sometimes when you click on it, you get these magic recommendations. If you do that, it'll give you all sorts of similar looking arrows. And you want something, things that don't have a crown. If they have a crown, that's pro. These ones are free. All right. So, right, we've got a whole collection of arrows now. Let's move them around a bit. When an arrow is not pointing the right way, you just tilt it until it does. This bit is a bit fiddly and it involves you messing around to try and get the arrows right. Now I'm going to turn all these arrows to blue. The reason I've chosen blue is it's one of the photo colors. Again, it just makes it blend better. Okay. 
Now this arrow is pointing the wrong way because we want it to be on the other side of the canvas. So we go flip, horizontal, and shrink it to the size we want. And then maybe tilt it a little bit so that it points to the right place. Let's have this one. Control C, Control V to make a duplicate. Let's move it over and flip it so that it is pointing the other way. Mm, let's find some other arrows. That's a nice one. That's also free. Excellent. Tilt. Hmm. Maybe that will be better down there. Let's move this one up. Like I said, you got to mess around a bit till you find what fits. Yeah, you get the idea. Right. And then, because all of these tails look a bit messy, we will get the select the picture, our original picture. There we go, that one there. We'll make sure it's centered. And go position to the front. So that pulls it to the front of everything else. There you go. Et voila. You have something that you can share. Now all you have to do is click on share. Download. I always download as a JPEG because it's smaller. And then just check that you've only selected. <laughs> if you've got more than one picture, select the picture that you want. And then click Done. Download. PP, Twitter. And save. Okay, then all you have to do when you want to tweet it is tweet it. Or, or you can share directly from Canva to Twitter. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Thank you.